So in this slide, we discuss why kids bully. Why would one human being want to make another human being feel miserable? Why would anyone do that? So that's what this slide is about. It's about getting into the psychology of bullying, why kids bully. So I have a few uh, that I've come across in my research here. Uh, the first one is the lack of attention from parents at home, so lashes out, out to get it. So all children, they require attention and they want attention. And if they lack it, they try to get it somewhere else. Now, what happens is that sometimes the only way certain kids have learned to get attention at home is by lashing out, by breaking things, making noise, getting in trouble. That's the only way they've learned to get attention from their parents. So when they come to school, they try to do the same thing, to get attention. So this is why it is very important for parents to give proper attention to their kids. Um, Another reason is unstable home environment. What that means is a child could be suffering from some sort of poverty in the house where he's working uh, seven or eight hours a day after, sc uh, after school. And from it, he or she is stressed out. And because of that, they're lashing out at school. Or it could be that their parents are fighting and they're going through a divorce and things are not good at home. Uh, and because of that, he or she is stressed out and, lash and lashing out at school. Another reason may be that the victim of bullying, that, ch that the bully is, is or was a victim of bullying themselves, maybe even from an older sibling. So often what happens is when a child is bullied um, intensely, then sometimes they themselves can become bullies as well. And sometimes the bully is even their older sister or brother. So, it's the, so when they see their older brother bullying them, they go to school and they do the same thing to other kids. Sometimes it's bad role models. So what happens is that, for example, a child may look up to his older or brother and sister. So he or she, the older sibling may not bully them, but he or she sees them bullying other kids. So because they look up to them, they go and they copy the same behavior at school. Or sometimes it's their parents that they're copying. Maybe the father is very abusive in the house or towards his wife, or towards his, uh, towards his brothers and sisters, or towards other people. So he, so the child also becomes a bully and tries to do the same behavior when he or she goes to school. Sometimes children are just aggressive by nature, meaning they're mean, or they're just aggressive by nature, uh, and dominating by nature, so they need therapy or they need counseling to overcome that. Sometimes it's to fit in. So sometimes they have certain friends who bully other kids. And because of that, uh, they bully other kids as well because they want to be accepted in those, uh, in that atmosphere, or or, in, or they want to be accepted in that circle. Uh, that's why sometimes when you come across bullies and you ask them, you take them to a private room and you ask them, why did you hit that kid? Why did you make fun of him? They'll say things like, oh he, oh so and so dared me to do it, or so and so told me to do it, or they forced me to do it, or because they were all doing it, so I just jumped in as well. So this is a tip for parents as well that if, you, if your child is hanging out with certain types of crowds or this type of people, then that's a sign that maybe you should not, you should watch who your child is hanging out with because you don't want to make them in that company where they're, they'll be behaving like bullies because they're surrounded by them. And sometimes it's jealousy. Sometimes some kids just get jealous. Um, so why is she so much pretty, prettier than me? Why did he get an A? Why is he good at basketball and not me? You know, it could be different reasons, but it's mainly jealousy. Why does he have better clothes than me? Sometimes it's because of insecurity. So some kids, um, they're so insecure about themselves that the only way they feel secure is by bullying other kids. I actually met a kid uh, in one of the anti-bullying conferences that I went, uh, that I attended where he was saying that in elementary school, he was so heavily bullied that when he got to middle school, he started bullying other kids because of this fear that if he doesn't do it first, they'll do it to him. So because he had this bad experience in elementary school, he tried to get rid of it by doing it first and more aggressive in middle school so other kids will leave him alone. Uh, sometimes it's because kids view violence positively. What does that mean? So this is where that whole debate about violent video games and movies comes in. So there's this big debate about this. But here's the thing. When it comes to kids, they cannot tell the difference between what's real and what's fake. So when a child is exposed 
to violent behavior through movies and video games, then they cannot tell the difference. So when, so it's so basically it's kind of natural for them to come out of that to be exposed to that type of world and then try to do and then try to do the same thing in the real world by trying to copy it um, because they can't tell the difference. So that's why it's very important to talk to your kids if they are exposed to that type of stuff. But but the, but the, at the end of the day, there is some merit to this argument that there is a correlation between kids being exposed to violent video games and movies and they basically behaving in that manner in real life and becoming bullies. Um, actually, I remember in my high school when I was a kid, uh, we had certain bullies in, in our school and whenever they used to, uh, um, the way they used to treat other kids was basically what they were exposed to through WCW or WWE. So basically, they were exhibiting that same type of behavior that they were fans of, uh, that they were that they saw in these wrestling shows. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the last one here I have is have difficulty following rules. So some kids they just have a difficult time. It might be due to some mental illness or maybe some other factor. Uh, maybe something's going on in the house or whatever it is. Uh, or maybe some sort of trauma that they've been through. But the point is that they have difficulty following rules. And in this case as well, they need basically therapy or counseling. Now, if you look at this list, you may notice something. Uh, do you really think, just think about this. Do you think punishing a kid because of these reasons will solve the problem? Because, you know, we come across a lot of times this idea of we have zero tolerance in our school for bullies. Um, but research has shown that that does not do anything. Actually, when kids are punished for bullying, they, uh, they come back and they do it again. They, they don't stop. They just continue bullying. They may leave a particular kid alone, but they'll just move on to someone else. So it doesn't really help. So what research has shown that what these kids needs, need is they need counseling and they need therapy because they're having some sort of psychological or some sort of... Uh, uh, social or maybe um, some sort of uh, some sort of emotional issues that they need to work out with a professional so that's what they need they need someone to unwind their emotional and psychological baggage that they're carrying so that's what they need to do and this is why you know we often find when certain bullies when they get older they actually go back to their victims and they apologize not all of them of course but some of them do and because they've kind of grown out of their emotional and psychological issues that they were going through as kids so now they've matured up they've become better people uh, and now they realize the mistakes that they did so what these kids need these bullies what they generally need is counseling and therapy so someone can sit with them and work this out with them uh, so someone who can sit with them and work through their emotional and psychological issues and in many cases, the victim of bullying himself also needs counseling and therapy as well. So that's something to keep in mind for schools, that they should invest in this type of, uh, these, such, these type of resources in counseling and therapists.